Welcome everybody, my name is Tim Sandy and I'm a VMware Technical Partner Manager and Systems Engineer. In today's session, I'm going to provide a technical sales 201 level overview of the newly updated vRealize Business for Cloud 7.2.1. In the new vRealize Business for Cloud, or VRBC as I'm going to call it, we can sum up the improvements into three main categories, and they are the vRealize Operations Manager and vRealize Business for Cloud integration, updated hybrid cloud story, and improvements and efficiencies. I will get into more detail on each one of these as we go through each one of the categories in the upcoming slides. The first enhancement under the vRealize Operations or vROps and vRBC integration is that we've now integrated vRealize Ops and vRealize Business for Cloud to provide visibility into them from each other's users interface. So vRealize Operation 6.5 now has a selection in the navigation pane as you see on the left side of this picture. Then on the right hand side you will see the vRealize Business for Cloud dashboard information. Now there's no need to leave the vRealize Operation interface to go to the vRealize Business interface to see the associated information for vRealize Business. So again you're starting to see all of our solutions start to integrate together and be able to go in to each other's interfaces directly from within the interface that you're currently in. So you're not having to bounce back and forth in between the different user interfaces. And this goes, this is becoming more and more true for all of our vRealize family of solutions. As you see in the picture on the left, when you click on the business management and the navigation pane, this is what you see before you have configured the integration between vRops and vRealize Business for Cloud. The picture on the right shows you vRealize Business for Cloud's interface and its dashboard information after you have configured the integration. So again, you're going to get that selection on the navigation pane for business management, but it's not configured out of the box. You have to just go in and point to the vRealize Business for Cloud appliance, put the associated user account and password information in, and once you've done that configuration, you then will be able to go in and pull the information for vRealize Business for Cloud while you're in vRealize Operations Manager. In vRealize Operations, you configure the vRealize Business for Cloud integration in the adapter settings just like you would any of the other adapters in vRealize Operations. As you see in the chart prior to vRealize Business for Cloud 7.2.1, this was the capabilities of the vRBC standard and advanced editions. Then now as of VRBC 7.2.1, you can see we now have Cloud Business Analysis Reporting, Data Center Optimization, and Reclamation Opportunities for VM Views. In 7.2.1, the vRealize Suite Standard Edition now comes with even more capabilities than before. Standard Edition now gives customers the ability to see the infrastructure utilization and data center optimization information. When customers run the Cloud Business Analysis Report, they can see Cost Savings Opportunity section that's already filled in with that appropriate information. In this slide, you can see the new capabilities in the navigation pane on the left side, circled in red. Then in the upper right-hand side of the picture, you can see the actual utilization data itself. Under Updated Hybrid Cloud Story category, VMware's new hybrid cloud assessment uses the updated vRealize Business for Cloud version 7.2.1. This provides cloud cost comparison between your private cloud and potential costs for public cloud environments. This ensures you have your workloads in the most cost effective environment. So is it more cost effective to keep my workloads in a private cloud locally in my data center? Or is it more cost effective to put them into a public cloud? And that may vary from workload to workload, or that could be either all your entire data center and all your VMs, or just some of them. And finally, under improvements and efficiencies, in that category, we've reduced the size of the OVF file for the login site deployment itself. We've made several updates that have been made to the Java Runtime Environment, or JRE. And we've also fixed several bug fixes that have been accomplished in this version to address some of the known issues that we've come across in the previous version. So that completes my presentation for today on the new vRealize Business for Cloud 7.2.1. I hope this information was beneficial and you have a better idea of the improvements that we've made to vRealize Business for Cloud. 
and I look forward to seeing you in some of my next sessions. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.